Hi, let's have a look at this Power Automate community thread regarding the format date expressions. So the user asking here is when um, the format expressions comes, uh, comes under the loop because there is an apply to each year, um, can't see the value date. So how can we see the dynamic values under the expression? Okay, so there are a couple of things uh, to discuss here. So if you are new to the Power Automate, um, there's, there is some setting here, uh, which you probably won't be aware of. So if you look on the uh, settings, view all Power Automate settings, turn the experimentals features on and save it. So that should reload your flow again, the page you are in. So that means that, that change is going to take in place. Uh, so this means you will get the latest features of the flows which are in preview also okay right so here uh, that's a list task there is a loop here so the question asked here is how can you set that format okay uh, let me delete this this is my old one right so how do you set this place your cursor here see that you can click on the function and start typing for my date time then um, you need to you need to see under that here and underneath you can see the list task so here you could search also what you're searching for so you're searching for the due date see value due date just select that so it's there you're on the same screen the user experience is very nice i would say then comma then y y y y dash mm slash dd here it is and then uh, you know press enter sorry don't don't press enter sorry uh, just click us uh, outside the um, the square box here under the expression so here so just click outside then it sets that same for here also so you click on the if you want to see the dynamic content you can see it will straight away picks up there also but you click on the function if you want the expression click on the function that will take you to the expression here see it's expression there so then uh, here again i'm going to type for my date time utc now comma now here in this case i'm going to type my ymmdd and place your cursor just inside the apply to each anywhere Oh, here we go so that's been said now that's easiest way of doing it so when sometimes when when you use the experimental features the user interface won't be the best uh, because it's under preview and it is an experimental feature that's the only reason and uh, i can show you the traditional way you can set as well so let me go back and change uh, that view power automate settings to experimental features to off okay so it's reloading again the interface okay going back to the apply to each and um, i'm going to remove that right i removed both the expressions which we set earlier okay so now if i click on here i can see see all the dynamic content which is great but the issue here is when I go to the expression and start typing for my date time. And, uh, so it's two brackets I typed. Place the, place the cursor inside there. Click on the dynamic content. I can't see that anymore. Because that's the nature of the apply to it. It won't be able to expose uh, uh, you know, the dynamic properties under the loop. That's what happened here. So how can we do this? Okay, there are different ways to do, do that. Uh, for the expressions um, to know the exact value how can we set uh, the the easiest way is add add a compose action step map the value which you are after um, you know for that expression then click here look for the peak code that will review the dynamic mapping see the apply to each this is under the apply to each that's why it's items apply to each all the way to that this one so all you need to copy is the highlighted part items all the way up to that square square bracket press ctrl c done once it's done you know you don't need that you can delete that action step then going back here click on the expression type your expression which you want to use 
then the first thing we need to set is the dynamic variable. And now we know the dynamic value, which is items that comma, then type yyyy dash mm slash dd. Here it is. So this is the way you can set, uh, you know, the dynamic values inside the loop or turn on the experimental features, which we, which is got easier to set because the interface already allows that to do it. Okay. So hope this video is useful, uh, especially for the power automate expressions. If you are using it for the first time, thank you very much for watching.